So what is the public perception of the consumers in India regarding the radiation technology? Consumers are usually confused between the term irradiation and the term radioactivity. They usually mix these terms and that is why they are not aware about the irradiation of food and they are not sure whether the food, the irradiated food is safe or not. A lot of times the consumers are concerned with the use of irradiated food because of the use of nuclear bombs in the World War II and also because of the Fukushima and Chernobyl disasters, the nuclear disasters that took place. But education is the key and that is what I am trying to do on this channel and that is what FSSAI has been trying to do with the food irradiation among the consumers. So what is the difference between the irradiated food and the radioactive food? When the radioactive source that is cobalt-16 in our case is in direct contact with the food and the food could be anything and if it is in direct contact with the food then the food will become radioactive and that is a very bad thing the food is then not safe to consume unsafe to consume but in case if the radioactive source is protected by a strong shield as in this case there is a shield protecting the radioactive source and then there is indirect contact between the food and the radioactive source so what happens that that food which is in indirect contact with the radioactive source is definitely safe to consume and that is a good thing and this is the case of food irradiation the food is in indirect contact with the radioactive source in the case of food irradiation and that is why this food is safe to consume as i told in the part two of this uh, video series that the codex elementarius commission and a lot of international bodies and national bodies, national authorities, laboratories all over the globe have regulated and validated the use of irradiated food. The chemical changes in the food irradiation process are very minimal. No adverse comments have been reported from the markets which are selling off irradiated food to the consumers. A lot of consumers have successfully accepted the irradiated food in their diets and there has been no problem as such. Although a lot of people and a lot of consumers in our country are still unaware of the irradiated food and its technology. So uh, make sure that you share this video series to a lot of people so that they can know that the irradiated food is safe to consume. So this was it for today and if you watched the complete 4 videos then you are awesome. Give this video a thumbs up if you like this video and comment down below if you have any kind of doubts. I will make sure that I reply to each one of you. Thank you. Class dismissed.